Hey, I'm Adam with View Mastery. We are at VJS Amsterdam asking the experts what is the biggest mistake to avoid when starting with View. The thing that I think most of the single-page application developers do wrong, and it's not their fault, it's just the way how this works, is the fact that they are doing a lot of business logic on the client side, while the reality is that the business logic should be only executed on the server side, the client side is only for the UI. The more business logic you put on the client side, the slower your application will get. And when you're talking about mobile phones, this could really, really impact the loading speed. It could be even 15 or 20 seconds. Using non serializable data to match in reactive variables and reactive state, like uh, classes and functions and that kind of things, because you can end up having problems with. Uh, for example, the view data is because you cannot like serialize uh, those classes correctly. And also, if you want to add some offline features to your application, you can have problems with those as well. A pitfall for me in view, I think, was that upgrading is hard. Upgrading from view 2 to view 3 was always kind of difficult, but actually it got better over time. So don't be scared to upgrade big applications. And the same for the next view to next 3. So don't be scared, update it. Uh, let's see what breaks, but it will work. They're very good. <laughs> if you're, for example, new to view or using view not that often compared to classic like DOM manipulation, I would always try to stay in the view way of doing things. So don't start like document, like get query, uh, get query select or whatever. So try to use, if you have to, uh, template graphs instead of like manipulating the DOM raw. And also try to use not the like, typical third party libraries you usually add through script tag. Try to stay on NPM packages, add them and see how you can incorporate them into the build step. A common mistake that a lot of people does when it comes to view is like if I should go directly with the composition APIs, if I go to the options API, I would say whatever feels more comfortable at the beginning. Then you can choose uh, your favorite kind of way of building your view applications, but not be afraid of uh, following every good practice at the beginning. Just learn and then you can move on to the best practices. I would say that a lot of people think that you have to learn view before you learn and use Nuxt. And I would say you don't. I would say you can totally start with Nuxt. You do need to learn some of the view, obviously, but you could do that later on. So you can start with Nuxt, build kind of like a really simple application, and now you need to get some more like hardcore detail, and then you can go into view and learn like view tree and all those cool features that you're gonna use. But you can totally start with Nuxt.